Welcome to our tutorial on R Markdown. Today, we're tackling a question that many data enthusiasts encounter. How can you split a cable table over multiple columns? Our viewer is looking to create a longitudinal layout for long tables, but they're facing some challenges with the output. Let's dive into their question and explore how to achieve that perfect table layout using cable. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To create a longitudinal layout for your table in R Markdown using cable, we first need to understand how to split our data frame into two parts. Let's start by creating a data frame with the state abbreviations and a frequency column. Here's the code to do that. Now, we will use the cable function to display the data frame. We can split it into two parts by specifying the rows we want for each column. However, this method may not produce the desired formatting. To ensure the headers are bold and the table looks better, we can use the cable extra package. Finally, render your R Markdown document to see the improved table layout. This will give you a clean, professional looking table split over two columns. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To split a cable over multiple columns, you can modify your code slightly. Create a data frame and then use the cable function to display two tables side by side. This method is a modification of existing techniques found in the R Markdown cookbook. For more details, check the link provided. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.